What does it mean to be upside down and how do you fix it? Okay, hey guys, if you didn't know, my name is Tommy. I've been in the car industry for most of my adult life. I've been in sales, finance, management, everything in between. Now I help people buy cars, but enough about me. Let's talk about being upside down. We're getting back to the basics here, but that's what this channel is all about. Teaching you guys all the things you need to know about car buying. So if you have something you want to know, it, there's never a dumb question on this channel. Comment below. I almost always do videos on every single comment that I get because I want to make sure you guys have a full understanding. So when you go into the dealership, you're as confident as a salesperson. So what does upside down mean? It's actually really simple. Upside down means you owe more money. So let's just say you owe $20,000 on your car than it's worth. And let's just say it's worth 15,000. So they would say you're upside down $5,000. So the reason why this is important is there's only two ways to get out of that. If you're looking to get out of that vehicle, which is A, carry that negative equity, that upside down from one car to another, or pay the difference. Those are the only two options. Obviously you can hope for the car to appreciate, but that's probably not gonna happen, right? So ideally if you're upside down and you can still live with the car, my recommendation is always just make bigger and more payments towards the car to start making up that gap because the more and more you can make up the gap, the easier it is to trade. Now, the reason why I wanna talk about upside down is that I dealt with this in finance all the time. People would wanna downsize their car. They would say, hey, I want to get a, you know, I have a $300 payment, now I want a $200 payment and I have negative equity. And they don't realize how hard that is. So I'm gonna explain how loans work real quick. Again, we're getting into the nitty gritty, but I think it's important for somebody in this situation to understand. So banks are going to loan off LTV. That's loan to value. So basically what percentage of the value of the loan compared to the collateral, which is the vehicle. Best case with good credit, you might might get 140 to 150%. Let's just say your car is worth 10,000. 150% for easy math, best case scenario, perfect credit, everything was great. And that's pretty advantageous to get that. But for easy math, you'd be able to get a loan for 15,000 on that car. $10,000 car, you'd be a loan for 15,000. Now LTV, you also have to consider in your loan taxes, registration fees. Now on a $10,000 car, that could easily be another 2,000. So now you're at $12,000. Again, that's loan. Now if you had a warranty, you had all these things, blah, 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 that adds to that as well. But for 10,000 plus taxes, now we're at 12,000. Let's just say you could get 150%. That means you could carry $3,000 of neg negative equity, not 5,000. So if you had $5,000 of negative equity, the bank would require you to put cash down. Now, the reason why a down payment is so important is because it shows that you can save money. I know it sounds silly, but when the bank is looking at this and you have $3,000 down, it means you're not overspending. You're not living paycheck to paycheck. So the bank knows as long as you keep doing what you're doing, you should be able to not only afford these payments, but have some left in the bank, which makes them more comfortable in order to do uh, some type of loan. It's extremely important when we're talking about people with less, less than stellar credit that down payments are talked about. Now, again, I wanna make sure we're very clear. It doesn't matter what your credit situation is. Down payments are always important. Interest is one of the worst things you can pay because you're just giving somebody else free money. Now, again, if the market is making more money than you, then it makes sense to maybe take that loan out. But right now, interest rates are at an all time high. Not an all time high, but you guys know what I mean. They're stupid high. And because of that, it doesn't normally make sense to put your money in the market versus taking a loan out. So know that you want to be careful with how your loan works, put as much down as possible and loan the least amount. It's better to take a loan on new cars than used cars. Rates are about 2% difference. I'm gonna talk about that in one of my later videos.